Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Ross, I'm a photographer and video maker from Northern Ireland. Welcome to my YouTube channel, yeah! Earlier on this year, I made a video entitled Using the Original X100 in 2023. In that previous video, I took my original Fujifilm X100 to a little village called Malile just to see if like 13 years after the camera came out, I could still take a good photograph with it. If you're interested, you can watch that video up here somewhere. You guys seem to really enjoy that previous video about the Fujifilm X100. So that's why today I've driven up the road to Belfast and brought it with me for some more tests. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about Fujifilm over the last few months has been playing around and creating my own JPEG recipes. I've done it with my XH2S, I've done it with my X-Pro3, but I am yet to find the ultimate JPEG recipe for my original X100 camera. Obviously, with the age of the original X100 being what it is, there is a limit to the options that we can change in the menus when creating this JPEG recipe. I'm not gonna let that stop us. Together, we're gonna create something that looks really good straight out of camera. So let's go, let's dive into the menu, see what options we can change, and together create the perfect JPEG-only recipe for the original X100. <laughs> I sound like a bloody politician. <laughs> Here we are, I've got my original X100 and I'm gonna dive into the menu now, change a few settings and try and create an initial recipe that I'll use as like a starting point for today's photographs. So the first thing I'm gonna change is my dynamic range. I'm gonna set that at 400 just to give us the maximum amount of dynamic range for today. I might change it down to 200 if I wanna add a bit more contrast, but for now, I'm gonna have it at 400. The original X100 is limited to three color film simulations. Provia, Velvia, and Astia. When I've been making recipes with my X-Pro3 or my XH2S, I've been loving the colors of Astia. So for today, I'm selecting Astia. Astia as a film simulation has quite a lot of saturation built into it. So in my color options, I've got high, medium high, mid, medium low, and low. I'm gonna select medium high for now and adjust it if I need to. I think medium high is quite a good place to start. On this camera, like most other Fujifilm cameras, you can shift the white balance. So for today, I'm gonna go plus four red, minus one blue. I might adjust it as we go, but I think plus four red, minus one blue is a good place to start. In terms of sharpness, I think it's a real personal choice whether you like sharpness or you don't. Some people absolutely love it and wouldn't edit a photo without sharpness. Other people, want to do everything they can to avoid sharpening their images. I think for today, I'm gonna have my sharpness at medium soft. That's not the softest and it's also not super sharp. So I'm somewhere in the middle. On the original X100, you can still change the highlight and shadow tone curve, although it looks a little bit different. For this initial recipe, I'm gonna have my highlight tone at standard and my shadow tone at medium hard. I like quite a lot of contrast in my images, so I might adjust this as the day goes on. The last option I'm gonna change for this initial recipe on the original X100 is to turn noise reduction to low. I basically don't want the camera to be doing any noise reduction, especially because this camera doesn't give you an option to add grain. So my thinking is if I turn noise reduction off, shoot at a higher ISO, that'll introduce a little bit of noise into my images, which might pass for a film grain.
Hey guys, so it's the next day and I've had a chance to look at the photographs that I captured. As you've just seen, I spent yesterday tweaking and tweaking and tweaking that initial recipe, just trying to get the best result I could, adapting the recipe on the fly as the location changed, as the light changed. And in my opinion, that's what the best recipe should be, is really adaptable. So after all that, have we created the ultimate JPEG recipe for the original Fujifilm X100 camera? Probably not. What we have created though is a brilliant starting point if you have this camera or any other Fujifilm camera and you want to go out and shoot JPEGs only. One of the things I might change about this recipe going forward is I might up the sharpness. The first thing I noticed when I brought the JPEGs into the computer and had a look at them was how soft they were. It almost looked as if they had minus clarity on them. As I said earlier on in this video, sharpness is a personal choice. It's up to you whether you want to add it or not. But yeah, I think going forward, I would add a little bit more sharpness to this recipe. I love the colors of Astia. I think yesterday I got a little bit carried away and turned that color all the way up. So I might just turn the color down a little bit going forward. One thing I really do miss when shooting JPEGs with the original X100 is the lack of grain that you can add to the image. Something I tried yesterday was turning my ISO up to introduce a little bit of noise into the photographs, hoping that the noise would end up looking like film grain. To be honest, I don't really think that worked very well. Maybe I didn't go high enough. I think the highest I put the ISO at was 1600. Maybe I needed to throw it up to 6,400. The good news about that is turning the ISO up in this camera doesn't destroy the image. So if you like a clean image, you don't need to worry about the ISO. Anyway, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Drop me a comment below if you try this recipe or if you have your own ultimate JPEG recipe for the original X100. As always, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in another video soon.